So you got to our paperwork, you saw B O B S and B E and you're like, what do these mean and how do I measure them? Let's talk about it. BO is short for brake offset. Your brake offset is measured from your four bolt housing flange, the wheel side, where your caliper bracket mounts or your brake backing plate, that surface, to the outside face of your axle shaft or where your rotor or drum would mount. So you're measuring from a mounting surface wheel side to mounting surface wheel side. Sometimes that can be really difficult to measure unless you strip your whole rear end apart, stick your shaft back in and measure it. Not always something you can do, especially if you're narrowing stuff, changing bolt patterns, you can't use the stuff you have. So how can you get that information? One way to do it is to look at the manufacturer of the brake kit you bought. If you're buying new disc brakes, a lot of times, especially who's super good at this is Willwood, they will tell you right out of the gate what the brake offset is. And again, that's that distance from the housing flange whoop, to the axle shaft flange, wheel side to wheel side. If you don't know what your brake offset is, we do have a couple of ways you can measure. So let's talk about that. This is a press on bearing axle shaft, POB, bolt in. It's called that because the bearing is pressed on, can't be taken off. <laughs> Now this bearing is in a fixed position and it dictates your brake space. That's part of the equation that goes into setting your brake offset when we're making axles. If you don't know what your brake offset is, you can measure from the outside face to the outside edge of your wheel bearing, specifically the outer race. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hook your tape on the axle flange face here, pull to here, you're gonna use a straight edge from your race to come up to get that dimension. Now, you might have already removed your wheel bearing, so you can't measure that. We got another one. Here is another bolt-in axle, but this time without a wheel bearing. When you don't have a wheel bearing, you can measure to the shoulder. The shoulder for your wheel bearing is a different position than your BE. So, when you measure your BE, it's not the same as your BS. They are different. And there are a lot of reasons, but mostly because the inner race and outer race of your wheel bearings are not the same widths. <laughs> when you measure this dimension, be sure to use a straight edge, but you're measuring from the outside face to this hard stop. So you can hook your tape here, pull back, then use a straight edge to come up to your tape. For the bearing shoulder, I like to use a radius edge, straight edge. Fits in the pocket of that shoulder pretty good. That way I know I'm not getting cheated by a sharp corner that's pushing out from that radius. I think we're done here. There we are, the perfect shot of my neck. Ugh.